been several hours since the incident in Lagos, Nigeria. Information is sparse, and the full extent of the damage is still unknown. Newsfront correspondent Jackson Norris arrived in Lagos moments ago, and he joins us now. Jackson? Christine, I'm a few yards away from where the conflict took place. It's still chaotic. Several witnesses are confirming that members of the Avengers and unknown combatants were here at the time. Now, Jackson, which Avengers were there exactly? Tony Stark? Captain Rogers' involvement has been mentioned and corroborated. Some accounts indicate Sam Wilson and Natasha Romanoff, but nothing else definitive at this time. Do we know why the Avengers were in Lagos? What threat initially brought them there? Will, that's still unconfirmed. There was also an incident at a military compound. Local media speculation is pointing towards former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and now mercenary Brock Rumlow. Well, given the extent of Rumlow's crimes, are you thinking he was the Avengers' likely target? Again, it's hard to say. Okay, I'm sorry, just um, Jackson, let me interrupt you. Breaking news in from Washington. We now go live to the White House where President Ellis is speaking. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've just been briefed on the developing situation in Lagos, Nigeria. Secretary Ross has contacted their president and assured him that we will do whatever it takes to support our friend and ally. It is crucial that we unite and stand together to ensure that peace and security prevail over chaos and fear. In the coming days, my administration will work directly with the United Nations to find the people responsible for this catastrophe and hold them accountable to the full extent of the law. With courage and with compassion, the international community will help support Lagos during their time of need. Thank you, and may God bless. Well, that was President Ellis moments ago, live from the White House, issuing a very strong statement about the Avengers. Now, Christine, where you heard a strong statement about the Avengers, I heard President Ellis saying that we need to rally with our allies to support the people that are trying to protect the planet. And that is the Avengers. That's who we need to actually look to to protect us in situations like this. Well, clearly, and there's still no proof. No. Listen, it just one woman. Uh, there's still no proof that this situation would have been avoided if the Avengers weren't there. In fact, the outcome could have been way worse. Should our superheroes report to the government? Let us know by Google searching WHIH online and follow us on Twitter. I'm Christine Everhart on behalf of Will Adams. Thank you for watching.